Meghan Markle's alleged stealing scandals. Yves Saint Laurent CEO Francesca Bellatini bans the Duchess from wearing their designs. In a shocking turn of events, the fashion world is abuzz with the news of Meghan Markle's alleged stealing scandals. Francesca Bellatini, the CEO of the prestigious fashion house Yves Saint Laurent, has reportedly banned the Duchess of Sussex from wearing any of their designs, citing Markle's troubling history of theft and deception. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. The revelations have sent shockwaves through the industry, leaving many questioning the true nature of Meghan Markle's relationship with the luxury fashion brand. As the details of the scandal continue to emerge, the public is left wondering, just how deep does this rabbit hole go? The accusations, a pattern of theft and deception. It all began with a seemingly innocuous incident at a high-profile charity event where Meghan Markle was spotted wearing a stunning Yves Saint Laurent gown. The appearance was meant to be a display of the Duchess's impeccable style and her commitment to charitable causes. However, behind the glamorous facade, a much darker truth was about to be unveiled. According to insider sources, this was not the first time Meghan Markle had been accused of stealing from the fashion house. In the months leading up to the event, several employees had come forward with allegations that the Duchess had a habit of borrowing items from the brand's showroom without permission. It was always the same story, one former employee, who spoke on the condition of anonymity, revealed. Meghan would come in, claim she needed the item for a specific event or appearance, and then just never return it. We'd ask, and she'd give us some excuse about it being lost or misplaced. But deep down, we all knew she was keeping them for herself. The allegations were met with immediate concern within the company, but Bellatini and her team were reportedly hesitant to take any action, fearing the potential backlash from the public and the royal family. The breaking point. Francesca Bellatini's decisive move. However, the tipping point came when Meghan Markle was spotted wearing a rare, one-of-a-kind Yves Saint Laurent gown to a glitzy Hollywood event without the knowledge or permission of the brand. That was the final straw, Bellatini said in a statement. We had given Meghan Markle the benefit of the doubt, but her continued disregard for our property and our intellectual property rights was unacceptable. As the CEO of this company, I have a responsibility to protect our brand and our employees, and I will not stand for this kind of blatant theft and deception. With that, Bellatini made the bold decision to ban Meghan Markle from ever wearing Yves Saint Laurent designs again, effectively cutting off the Duchess from one of the most prestigious fashion houses in the world. The fallout, damage control and damage done. The news of the ban quickly spread like wildfire, igniting a firestorm of controversy and debate. Supporters of Meghan Markle rushed to her defense, accusing Yves Saint Laurent of targeting the Duchess due to her status as a woman of color. This is nothing more than a thinly veiled attempt to discredit and humiliate Meghan Markle, one vocal critic tweeted. It's a disgraceful display of racism and elitism, and the brand should be ashamed of themselves. However, Bellatini and her team remained steadfast in their decision, arguing that the allegations against Markle were well documented and could not be ignored. This has nothing to do with Meghan Markle's race or her status as a member of the royal family, Bellatini stated. We have a responsibility to protect the integrity of our brand, and we will not compromise that, no matter who is involved. The fallout has been far-reaching, with some industry insiders predicting that the scandal could have lasting consequences for Meghan Markle's relationship with the fashion world. As the public continues to grapple with the implications of the ban, the Duchess herself has remained largely silent, leaving many to wonder what her next move might be. The bigger picture. Implications for the fashion industry. The Yves Saint Laurent scandal has shed light on a larger issue within the fashion industry, the pervasive problem of theft and deception, particularly when it comes to high-profile celebrities and influencers. This is not an isolated incident, said fashion historian and author, Dr. Emily Granger. We've seen time and time again how celebrities, whether intentionally or not, have taken advantage of their status to obtain or keep items that don't belong to them. Granger pointed to the numerous reports of designers and brands being left out of pocket due to the actions of famous clients, who often fail to return or even acknowledge borrowed items. It's a systemic issue that has been allowed to fester for far too long, Granger said. Brands need to take a stand and hold these individuals accountable, no matter how powerful or influential they may be.
The Yves Saint Laurent ban on Meghan Markle could be a sign of a broader shift in the industry, as more companies prioritize the protection of their intellectual property and the integrity of their brands. This could be a wake-up call for the entire fashion world, Granger added. If Yves Saint Laurent is willing to take such a bold and decisive step, it might inspire others to follow suit and send a clear message that this type of behavior will not be tolerated. As the industry grapples with the fallout of the Meghan Markle scandal, the hope is that it will lead to a more transparent and ethical future, where the respect for intellectual property and the preservation of brand identity are paramount.